Hi, my name is Alex Wolford. I'm a solutions engineer for Streamsets, and in this video, I want to give you a quick introduction to storing credentials in Vault. So, the first thing we're going to do is initialize Vault. So, let's say we need five key shares and we need at least three of them to be able to uh, unseal Vault. It's going to give us a JSON file that we can download. So, I'm going to download this file open it in Sublime, keep this handy for a moment, and we are going to unseal Vault. Continue to unseal. I'm going to give it three of the five keys, doesn't matter which one. Z Second key, third key, So you'll also notice in this JSON file that we have a root token. This is very important. This is what we're going to use to log in. Sign in. OK. We can create a policy for data collector. So I'm going to say the policy is called SDC and it's going to allow read access to the secrets. The policies are defined like this. You have a path and the capabilities. So this uh, means that the policy named SDC has read access to the path beginning secret. Create policy. Now we're going to go and create a couple of secrets. So go into this secret key value store. And the path I'm going to use, I'm going to have a couple of things. Dev MySQL is the path. And the username we're going to have is root. And we'll also have a password, which will be Victoria. OK, great. Save this. Data Collector is going to connect using the app role method. So we're going to enable app role. Now that we've enabled that role, we can pop over to the shell, vault login. It's going to ask for that token, so we've authenticated, and we're going to create a role called SDC. This secret ID will last for a year. In order for Data Collector to talk to Vault, we're going to need a role ID, and we're also going to need a secret ID. We're going to apply the SDC policy to the SDC user, and now we're going to use the role ID and the secret ID to configure Data Collector to talk to Vault. I'm going to SSH into my Data Collector instance, go into Etsy SDC and edit a couple of files. So I have the secret ID in this file here. And I also need to set some properties in the credential stores.properties file. So the role ID goes in here. So I'm going to paste this in here. The other properties that are noteworthy are the, uh, the config address. So I'm going to point this at my vault instance. And at the top of this file, we need to tell it that Vault is a credential store. Save this. Restart Data Collector. And now we can try and access credentials through Vault. So let's uh, open up our Data Collector and go to a pipeline that has credentials stored in Vault. So if I click on the Credentials tab here, I've set this up already. I'm using the Credentials uh, Get um, expression language here. I'm going to go to Vault and I'm going to pull out my credential based on the path and then I have an ampersand and the uh, property that I'm retrieving here. If I click on the preview here, we should see some records. The credentials were pulled from Vault and are not visible to the user. 
So what, one of the benefits of using a credential store is that the secrets remain secret. There's no way for the StreamSets user to, to see what the credentials are. And yet they're able to use the, those credentials to log into whatever systems they need to access. So just to recap, in this example, we set up Vault, we created some credentials, and uh, we, we um, configured Data Collector to access this. Um, the docs um, show this in more detail. And uh, we showed a pipeline running that is using those, um, using the credentials from Vault. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that was useful.